Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I'm going to be talking about how I moved out at 18 as a single teen mom, and kind of just like the process of like how that went. I've always been crazy about not spending my money, being very frugal, and I got a job right after I got my license, which was a few months after I turned 16, so I have been saving that and all of our day money and like everything for the most part I have been saving. I've spent very little. The thing that I have really spent money on was my computer, my desktop computer, and now luckily that'll get to be a write-off for me. So I was kind of prepared, but I was not anticipating moving out for like at least another year or so. I just wanted to figure out my life. And then I saw this post about a townhouse and I have been wanting a townhouse. I didn't want an apartment because I didn't want people like above and below me and I didn't want a ton of neighbors and I didn't want to be super close together because I've been in apartments and like the neighbors will be so loud or you could just like hear the person breathe in the other room and I just, I didn't want that because that's going to lead to my baby getting woken up, let alone I didn't want to be somewhere where they allowed smoking, I didn't want to be somewhere where, I don't want to say they didn't allow pets because that wasn't a big deal for me, but if they allow pets, I could also potentially wake her up, and I didn't even think about that until just this moment. So, I really wouldn't want that. I don't know if I already said the no smoking. Absolutely no smoking. But I did also didn't want there to be parties, like, because that's going to wake up my baby, too. And even if someone's, like, playing loud music, I just wanted to be somewhere where it's more quiet. Because also, I don't want to get woken up by that, either. And ideally, I wanted a townhouse, because I didn't want to rent a, an actual house where I had to do a lot of the outside work, like... I don't have time for that. I just don't want to do that. That's not what I was looking for. So basically what my townhouse is, it's not a duplex, it's not an apartment. It's like four units and we all have our own unit and I have a basement, my like level floor with my kitchen and living room and then upstairs are the bedrooms and a full bathroom and I have a half bath down here. I have another neighbor on the other side of me and then like a house neighbor the houses in town in general are like on top of each other but these are literally connected there's no like door connecting us or anything but yeah our basements and everything's like separated so it's basically just my house smushed next to someone else's house and they're like connected by like a thick wall or something because I never hear my neighbor almost ever so anyways I saw that it was posted on Facebook and me and my mom kept arguing a lot um, we have very different lifestyles, so that was becoming a problem, and I just didn't really want to deal with it. <laughs> um, and me and her had a conversation, and we were like looking at financial stuff and realized that it would be pretty practical for me to move out on my own, because I always thought like I couldn't afford it, but I realized that I could. Unfortunately, I didn't get the most time to prepare, because... When I looked at it, I didn't already have, like, the deposit and everything. I mean, I did, but that was money I was going to put in my savings, and I ended up using it for that. So I've been working a lot recently to kind of, like, pay that back. But I did, if I wouldn't have had my savings, I would have been screwed not been able to get it. So I can make a whole video on advice for all of this and how to prepare. Luckily, I did have my mom co-sign for me because I've never rented before and I don't have any credit. I just recently, like in March, got a credit card and I've been building up my credit, but nothing crazy. I'm not in debt or anything, but I also don't have anything built up to show, hey, I can definitely pay this besides like my actual income saying I can. I don't know that I would have gotten it if it wasn't for that. I also think that they particularly liked me. I um, talked to them a lot. My whole family came with, my family knew their family. It was kind of just a really good situation and I got really blessed with it. It is a bit pricier than a lot of the places around here, but it's super convenient and I think it's worth it or else I wouldn't have gotten it. So when I saw the post, I messaged them and they had originally posted about a one bedroom and then I ended up just not wanting to look at it because I was like, one bedroom would kind of be silly for me to get. And then they posted the two bedroom a week later. And I was like, hmm. So I went ahead and messaged them and then they told me the times they were able to meet. So I showed up and I was like, wow. 
We had to tell my family about them, and they asked who the, like, landlord was, because that's very important. You don't want to have a bad landlord that's not going to take care of stuff, and my landlord takes care of everything on the outside, like, the um, sidewalk that needs fixed, or not the, not the sidewalk, but it would up sidewalk and then like the back patio the lawn they do the like floral stuff on the outside they take care of all the outside stuff i actually was almost not able to meet and then luckily it all like kind of worked out and we were able to meet and we filled out the application and then that night they actually messaged me because they told me it was going to be like a few more days because they're still showing and they were like you know what after i talked about it with she talked about it with her husband because it's like a teamwork thing between them we think that you'd be a good fit or something like that and I had like actually messaged the whole paragraph to her saying like how perfect it was for my situation and me I apologize that I'm like having a hard time breathing and <clears throat> I don't know what's going on also I haven't gotten a good filming set up here yet that would be why I'm just filming here I wanted to use natural lighting and I just got my hair cut I'm hoping the video that I filmed relevant to that will go up before this. If not, surprise, cut my hair. <laughs> the one downside is that there's cats all around and I can't escape the cats. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that there's cats and my mom didn't grow me crazy. These cats are less noisy and you don't have to feed them or anything because they're not mine. They're just like, I don't know if they're strays or just like someone's outside cats that wasn't good around. So anyways, I ended up hearing back from them and then we ended up meeting, I think about a week later, or maybe it was a day later. It was either a week or a day, because I feel like I met with someone on a Thursday or a Friday, and then I signed it the next Friday, whatever the closest Friday was. <laughs> and then um, that Monday after, or maybe it was a Thursday, I don't know. Either way, I, within a week, I was, like, signing papers and moving in. Actually, I really feel like it was within a day or two. Ah, I can't remember. But I moved in very quickly after that, like two or three days I think I had like a weekend to pack or something and I worked like all that weekend it was crazy but I just put down the deposit and the um what is it called oh first month's rent I gave her and put down the deposit I was like trying to think of down payment but that's what the deposit is it's like a down payment except I'm not buying the place I'm just renting it I can do videos on how I budget and everything. And then I moved in on the 8th, I believe. And now it's the 22nd, and tomorrow is my birthday. Woo! I don't know when you're seeing this. So, you know, tomorrow's the 23rd. That's my birthday. <laughs> but basically how I got it was being prepared, being connected, getting information on everything. Make sure you know who you're renting from and that they have a good reputation and everything. Try to have someone that knows more about it go with you, maybe your parents, maybe a friend, maybe a family friend, whoever. I had my mom and my grandparents go, they are pretty well connected. I know unfortunately some people don't have those resources and for that you kind of just got to gamble with it or try to find information. Okay, the problem with living in town is there's a lot of random noise that will happen, but we had that out in the country too because they wouldn't buy some rednecks that were just wild. <laughs> I hear all kinds of stuff, it just wasn't the same noise. I was not prepared as much as I would have liked to be, but everything happens for a reason, and you know, there's God's timing, and honestly, it, was, it worked out fine. So, that is how I got my first place at 18 as a single mom, and it is a townhouse, not an apartment, not a duplex, not a house, a townhouse, and I'm renting. <laughs> I think that covers the basis of it all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe below, and hit that bell notification so you get notified every single time that I upload. Bye!